Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a mouse in Windows 10. In most cases, when you connect your mouse, it should work straight away, but if it doesn't, or if it doesn't work as you thought it should, then hopefully this video will help. We'll start by focusing on the connection of the mouse to your PC. Whether it's wired or wireless, it will likely be connected using one of the USB ports. Depending on how old your mouse is, it may only work on USB 2 ports, and if you don't have any of these on the front of your case, then there should be some on the back if you have a desktop. You can try using all the ports if the mouse doesn't work in one of them. If you have any problems with your mouse, or if it doesn't work properly at this stage, then I have a separate video that will cover a few possible solutions. Click the card now to watch that, or you can get there via the link in the description. Now that we have connected the mouse, we'll now check that we have the latest drivers. There will be two ways to check for drivers, and the first method will be to go to the manufacturer's website. Just search for your mouse's manufacturer, and if they have drivers available, there should be a page where you can download and install them from. If you can't find any drivers online, then we can let Windows try and find them automatically. To do this, we'll need to go to the device manager first. You can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the device manager, look for where it says mice and other pointing devices. Expand this section by clicking on the arrow to the left, and there should now be a list of all the mice on your PC. Chances are there'll just be one, but if there isn't, find your device and double click on it. When the new window opens, go to the driver tab, which should be the second option. Now click update driver, and then choose the automatic option. Allow Windows to search for and install any drivers it finds. If there are no updates, then we can move on to customizing the mouse within Windows 10. Before we go any further, depending on your mouse, you may be able to get software from the manufacturer to customize it. This will probably be the case if you have RGB lighting or additional buttons to assign. You should be told where to get this from either on the box of the mouse or within it, but search for your make and model of mouse on the manufacturer's website if you think there might be software to customize it. We can customize some mouse settings within Windows, and to do this we need to go to the main settings page first. You can get here by clicking on the cog icon from within the start menu. In settings, go to devices and then choose mouse from the options on the left side of the screen. There are a few things in here that we can do. For example, we can change the primary mouse button and some of the scroll settings. To get more options to change, first go to adjust mouse and cursor size from the options on the right side. In here, we can change the size of the pointer at the top and change its appearance too. For example, we can change it to a different color. We can also change the cursor thickness and you can see the preview for how that would look. For more customization, we can click on additional mouse options from the main mouse settings page, which is the page we were on before this one. This will open a new window. The first tab called buttons doesn't have many options but have a look just in case there's something you want to change. In the pointers tab, we can change the appearance of the pointer for each of the options on the list. We can change the entire scheme with the drop down box at the top or each of the individual options by double clicking on one and then choosing a new style in the browse window. The next tab called pointer options allows us to first change the speed and there are more options in here too if you want to change them. The final tab to customize is the wheel tab, and this has options that will affect the scroll wheel. And so that's how to set up and customize your mouse in Windows 10. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I will try and reply as soon as I can. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like, and feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.